Hi everybody, welcome back. I know we said on Thursday that I'd be back on Friday and we might be out in the garden doing some iNaturalist, but I have a big heartfelt apology to make to everyone. I got so caught up with iNaturalist and in the meanwhile decided to completely redo and extend higher the roof of our bird blind fort. So it took up most of our weekend and we got really distracted and busy. And I hope that you all did enjoy iNaturalist if you did it. Um, and if you didn't, do it yet. There's still time. There's always time. Anytime you see anything you don't know what it is, use iNaturalist. Um, or for those of us that like a little bit more of a game, there's Seek, which also can post to iNaturalist. And it helps you identify the animals with your phone as you find them. So, I know, I know, I know, I know. Every time I say, it's my favorite, it's my favorite, it's my favorite. But we've come... We've come to these guys. What do you think? Hmm, I bet you have some guesses, but we are gonna learn even more about them and find out what makes them special. So we're gonna read a story but our story is gonna give away a little bit of our surprises. So we're actually gonna wait and do the story in a little bit. We're actually gonna start with our animals. Are you ready? So I'm gonna see if these first guys are ready to come out. There's at least one in here. Sometimes I have to dig and we'll get to meet them and learn a little bit about them. We'll be scientists. So let's see, last time I was in here, he was hiding in his tube. And let's see. Do you see anything in there? Let's see. I don't know. I'll turn it this way. Do you see anything in there? Any shapes or shadows? Let's see. I'm going to peel it open very carefully. Oh, I see him. Now, sometimes this critter makes noises. So let's see. I don't know if he's going to make them, but I'm going to carefully get him out. And he did not make them. And I'm going to carefully set this down here. Do you see our special guest for today? Do you know what that is? This is a very special visitor called a hissing cockroach. A Madagascar hissing cockroach. Yeah, this is a cockroach from Madagascar, which is off the coast of Africa. And they're called hissers because there's little tiny holes called sphericals right here in oh a body part we're going to learn about part of their body well, actually he kind of turned when i rubbed his back that was interesting and they push air out of those holes and it goes Psss. so when they're upset or scared they might hiss and that's a way to scare off predators and this one is little he's going to get bigger but he even has kind of fake looking horns on the top of his head i don't know if you can see and they're going to get bigger as he gets older um and they also might look big and scary for predators. He's kind of got a fun shape right now. He's kind of curled up. Now, this guy is a special type of animal we're going to learn about called an insect. Insects are one of my favorites. I love them. I love keeping insects. I love finding insects. I love studying insects. And if you do that, you're called an entomologist. Entomologist. And you study insects, and that's exactly what we're going to do tonight. We're going to find out what makes them special and different from our birds and our reptiles and even our amphibians. Now, it starts with, I don't know if you can see it, if you look against my finger, you see those two little things moving around? Let's see if you can see them even more. See those two things moving around? I wonder what they are. So I'm going to I'm gonna hold him for a minute if he'll let me. If not, I might just like stick him on my shirt. See if he sits still. Yep, there he goes. And... I want to show you something now yeah I can see him he's crawling up he might get close to my hair and we might have to abandon this all together because I'll lose him he'll hide in my hair yep there he goes let's see how far he goes I wonder is he gonna disappear completely is he gonna stay still no he's gonna disappear completely so let me grab him and bring him back down and see if he sits still okay now these two cool things you see those neat shapes in there I call these insect eyes so if I put them on, they have really cool, I don't know if you can see, shapes, and they make everything around look different. I don't know if I can show you. 
Let's see. Oh, look at that. Do you see it? All the different shapes and colors. Here's one that we might be able to see even more. Let's look in that way. See all the different shapes and colors. Oh, that's going to be so challenging to see. Now, these insect eyes are kind of really hard to see out of you. An insect, you might be good at it, but if I was wearing them and I could barely see everything, I might, oh, bump into something. I would bump into things. I would need something to help me to feel around. Now, you and I have hands that touch to help us feel around, and our eyes, our eyes see everything at once, not all those different shapes. So, insects have these two little things. You see them right there on my shirt? And I'll hold them closer to help them feel around when they have trouble seeing. In fact, some insects can't see great at all. See those little things? They're called antenna. This big guy right here, you see those two antenna? One, two. So the first thing that makes insects special is they have two antenna. Two antenna. So I got my antennas on. Now, there's something else really cool that makes an insect special, and I'm gonna have to probably see if he'll stay on my shirt again. If not, I'll put him away so he's safe. But it's how many parts of their body they have. So we have two antenna, one, two. And let's see, I'm gonna stick him on my shirt again. Let's see if he stays still. Probably not. And we are going to use my mosquito friend here to help us count how many legs they have. How many do you think? How many legs do you think an insect has? I've got one, two. I've got two legs. I also have two arms. Now let's see. Let's see how many this insect has. Let's see. He's got one. We'll count two. And we'll count, well, down here, three. And we'll skip to this side. And we'll go four, five, six, six legs. Let's see if that was a little challenging. Maybe we'll count on this big guy here. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, six legs. So insects have six legs. Insects have two antenna. That's two cool things about insects. Are you ready for another one? Let's see. This one will be easier if I use these little friends down here. Use these guys right here. These look like little ants. Yeah. So let's use this one. And let's count. We counted antenna. We counted legs. Let's count the whole parts of the body. Let's see. I'm going to kind of hold his legs out of the way and see if it's easy to see. So we've got one right here. This is called his head. Head. And this middle part right here is called his thorax. Thorax. So he's got head, thorax. And this big part here at the back is called his abdomen. So he's got head, thorax, abdomen. One, two, three. So three body parts. Oh, that's a lot so far. So let's see. Let's see if we can remember what they had together. They had two antenna. They had, hmm, I want to be more of an insect. So let's see. I'm going to put this guy down real quick because I, I don't want to lose him. Six body part or six legs. Let's see. Let's see how many I had. Remember I said I have one. I had two and then I had like two hands. So I can't be an insect, can I? Or can I? Let's see. I just so happen to have some more legs. Let's see. Let's get my other legs. I've got other legs. Whoop. So look, now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I've got six legs and I can be an insect too. How cool is that? So I'm going to pull you back a little closer again. Oh, so I'm becoming an insect too. Two antenna, all six of my legs. Yeah. 
And hmm, let's see if I've got all those body parts. Let's see. I've got I've got head. I've got belly. I got shoulders. Hmm. Knees. Toes. Nose. Ears. Mouth. Armpit. Oh. That's too many. That's way more than just three. So I mean, I guess I'm not totally an insect yet, but there's something else that makes an insect special. Remember when I said they use their antennas to feel because their eyes might make them bump into things? Well, there's something else that helps protect them. And I'm going to put it on right now. I've got this cool, cool armor that protects me. It's kind of like my bones outside my body. And if you're an insect, that's called an exoskeleton, exoskeleton. An exoskeleton helps protect insects. They're covered in them. In fact, let's see if I can find my friend again, if he didn't run off and try to hide from me really quick. There he is. Bring him back out. So even the hissing cockroach has a hard exoskeleton to protect him. In fact, right here up top, which what looks like his head isn't really his head. His head is under here, his head thorax and abdomen are covered and protected by his exoskeleton. Pretty cool, right? So I'm going to stick him back one more time. And let's see. I think it's time. I think we can read a little bit of the story and then we're going to end double checking what we all need to be an insect. And maybe we'll sing a song. Let's see. What is an insect? By Susan Canizares and Mary Reed. This is a good one, it's a short one, I love it. What is an insect? We're learning that. This is an insect. Fly is an insect. This is not. What's that? I know you know. <laughs> this is an insect. Is it bumblebee? Honeybee? This is not. Oh yeah, I don't see six legs. It doesn't look like he has a hard exoskeleton. Hmm. Maybe a soft exoskeleton. And I don't see any antenna. This is an insect. Butterfly, look, there's their antenna. And wings. Hint, hint. This is not. No, that crab is not. Hmm, although they've got a lot of legs too. This is an insect. Oh, look at that beautiful exoskeleton on that beetle. This is not. Look at that. A lot of legs. More than six. And more than three body parts. An insect has three body parts. Look. Head, thorax, abdomen. An insect has six legs. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it an insect? Hmm, I see two insects. I challenge you to go outside, maybe use iNaturalist or Seek, and see if you can find some insects. Look for two antenna. Look for six legs. Maybe that exoskeleton. Yeah. And the one thing that we didn't put on to make ourselves an exoskeleton or an insect is sometimes wings. Yes. Sometimes insects have wings. So I don't know about you. And I did have another insect, but we got so much done today. We're going to save them for tomorrow. They're really silly. Wait till you see the game they play. But we're going to learn those things that make insects special in a song. Let's see. First, let's remember. Take a deep breath. That's a challenge. One more. Insects had two antenna. Insects had six legs. Insect have one, two, three body parts. Head, thorax abdomen and an exoskeleton. So I'm going to sing my song. Some of you might know it. This has been a favorite of mine for years and years and years. And if you know it, I, I encourage you to sing along. And if you don't know, we're going to do it again tomorrow and probably the next day. 
and maybe again. I don't know. We'll sing it, I promise. So I'm gonna slide you back. So we can sing together. Let me see. Can you see me? Oh, you can. Okay. Are you ready? It's to the tune, if you know, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. It's that same tune. Let's see. Ready? Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Two antenna, an exoskeleton. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen, and sometimes wings. Yay! That's so exciting. Well, I'm so glad you joined us. This is another long one, and it was, it was a lot. So I'm looking forward to going over it again tomorrow and remembering it. I'm going to bring back out my cockroach. And there is a little baby one in here, but he's really hard to find. He's a different kind of cockroach called a domino cockroach. And let's see if I can, I don't know if I can see him, but we'll bring the other one back out and say, good night, cockroach. Yeah, I don't see the other one. So let's start and stop and say good night to our innocent cockroach. There he is. Good night, cockroach. And good night, all of you. Good night. Thank you.